Hey everyone, it's DC here and today we're going to be going over the CompTIA uh, Network Plus versus the Cisco CCNA routing and switching. Crazy. Crazy. So both of these certifications are um, considered entry level networking certifications and um, they're widely recognized all over the world and yeah they're, they're really good technologies to get into so if networking is sort of something that you want to get into or cyber security as well um, you're going to need some networking background and having uh, either the network plus or the ccna routing and switching are pretty much the ways to begin your networking adventure so without any further ado let's go over the comptia network plus and uh, we'll see some pros and cons of each and then compare them and then at the end I'll, uh, I'll let you know which one I would choose out of the two. So, first of all, pros of the uh, CompTIA Network Plus. A pro for it is that it isn't vendor specific like the CCNA. So, what that means is um, the CCNA is based on Cisco technology, obviously. Um, and yeah, the, the CompTIA is not. So it sort of gives you an um, overall understanding of wired wireless networks, um, some basic security stuff in there as well, and sort of pushes you towards uh, understanding better how to manage, uh, troubleshoot, create networks uh, in general. Right, so that, that I'd consider that a pro of the CompTIA Network Plus. Another pro of the Network Plus is that you don't really need to know anything about networking before getting into it. So with the CCNA, um, they consider it an entry level examination, but there's also the, um, which is I think more of an entry level examination to be honest, but um, anyway, it, it they're, compared against each other often. So I'd say for the Network Plus, uh, not having to need any prior knowledge beforehand is a bit of a pro for that. Another pro for the Network Plus is that uh, it can lead into jobs uh, like help desk, um, basic network troubleshooting, uh, maybe even network administration. So that's, that's always a bonus. It's always nice to know that by doing that certification, you could get one of those jobs. Last pro for the Network Plus for me is that it is cheaper than a CCNA. Um, that may come as a surprise, maybe it, it doesn't. For me, it wasn't a surprise at all that the CCNA was almost double the price of a Network Plus. So let's go into some cons now of the CompTIA Network Plus and then we'll start with the CCNA. So the biggest con of the CompTIA Network Plus is that there are less job opportunities when you finish it compared to what you could get with a CCNA. Uh, so with a CCNA you can go network engineer, um, if you had an MCSE tied in as well, you could go for a sysadmin role. Um, you could also do a like a network security administrator. Uh, maybe not a network security engineer, you probably need a CCMP for that, but that's a, another whole kettle of fish. And the biggest problem with the CompTIA Network Plus is that employees look at it as a um, lesser certification than the CCNA. So if you have a CCNA on your resume and um, compared to someone who's got exactly the same as you but instead of the CCNA they have the Network Plus, um, they're going to be looking at the guy with the CCNA more just because it is far more recognized. And that's not to say that one is better than the other as far as the, um, the knowledge that you're going to learn from it goes. It's more just that's how it's um, perceived in the IT world. All right, let's get into the CCNA routing and switching. So what are the pros of the CCNA? The CCNA is considered a industry standard, um, as I mentioned before. So it's similar to the Network Plus that it is recognized everywhere. Um, however, the CCNA is, it's sort of like the, the very first network qualification that you get. 
and um, everyone sort of knows that. As far as IT professionals go, everyone knows that. If you have the two tied in together, that's that's not a bad thing. Um, just means that you you really love networking. Uh, another pro of the CCNA is that it does lead to more job opportunities. So, like I just said in the cons for the Network Plus, um, with the CCNA you can get into NetSec or you know not just network administration or um, help desk or stuff like that you can you can go a little bit further with that and uh, yeah a huge bonus of the CCNA is that it does lead to further study paths so I know the CompTIA does as well but again it's not as recognized so if it was my choice I would be going for the CCNA and then doing a CCMP and then a CCIE and you know sort of following the the Cisco part. The biggest thing for Cisco is that they hold 50% of the market of networking equipment in enterprise environments. So what that means is um, while if you did do the CompTIA Network Plus um, that's great but you're going to need to know the Cisco stuff anyway. So why not do the CCNA although it costs more you're pretty much guaranteed to get a better job depending on a few different things like how you interview and what experience you have but there is that as well and um, yeah you can take it further basically is, is what I'm trying to get to so with a 50% market of um, networking equipment throughout the world that's massive and, and you really want to capitalize on that statistic so for me it's it's humongous tick for the CCNA. So while I've said the CCNA is wonderful and you know you should definitely do it, there are some cons and one of those is the price tag. It is pretty expensive. Um, here in Australia they're around $3,000 for the course and the certification. Um, that's, a, that's a lot of money for an entry level certification. The other con is that it is far more difficult um, the examination. I've done both and I found the CCNA far more difficult to do than the uh, Network Plus and I actually did them in a weird order. I did the CCNA first and then did the uh, Network Plus a couple of years later. So I don't know why I did it like that but yeah. So just a, a last note is that um, you may have also seen recently that the CCNA 2020 edition so the, the version that comes out in the year 2020 um, encompasses uh, a whole lot of different CCNA technologies. So it's not just a CCNA routing and switching anymore, it's just a CCNA. And it covers routing and switching and a, a couple of the other ones in there as well. Um, so I think that is definitely worthwhile doing. Um, if you were going to do a CCNA, um, with the 2020 version, you also get to reset that exam when it comes out if you do the previous one, the 2019 version. And um, the certification doesn't expire anymore, which is amazing. That's, that's really what you want. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you've got any questions, chuck them in the comments below or have a chat to me on Discord. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and all the rest of it. And I'll see you on the next one. Catch you later, guys. Bye.